Alrighty, everyone. Um, I guess it's about time that I talk about <laughs> why I switched over from this channel with now only 186,000. I've lost a couple thousand since I haven't posted in six months to this channel here. Obviously, this was name was Papa Gut, and it was verified. I changed it to Papa Gut Archives, so you can see that it's a new chain, another name change. And then I came over to here. So, first of all, I'm actually going to re be revitalizing this channel with some content. I'm putting some feelers out on stuff that I think will make me feel like I have, I guess that my content is a little more meaningful. Um, not that it is going to be super meaningful, <laughs> but I'm going to be, uh, you know, kind of experimenting with conversational content, which was the goal when I first made this YouTube years ago, you know, when I was still on TikTok, when I only had like 25,000 followers and I was having conversations with people, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have nice, productive, intelligent conversations, a little back and forth with another person. And I'm going to be doing that with Kelly Cadigan. So this will be posted by the time this video is up, that'll be posted within, I don't know, at some point. You'll, you'll probably see it up there. <laughs> and that's the first thing me, of me coming back into this more conversational content. So if you want to see that on the real Papa Gut, that's cool. However, there's probably some people that have come from that video and been redirected to here that are wondering why I changed. And I never really talked about it because I never really thought it was that big of a deal. But hey, let's talk about it now because it's relevant. Subscribe to both channels, guys, and like this video. I don't know. Anyway, um, like most things, it's not a singular reason as to why I moved over or made a decision. I think most of us have events in our lives where like a multiple, like a bunch of different decisions kind of culminate together or multiple different factors culminate together for a, a particular decision. Um, but let's, let's start off. So one reason why I switched over is I had a, a bunch of empty followers from TikTok. You know, you can see even in some of my more better performing videos, we got like, you know, 24, 22 over here. Keep in mind that this hasn't been touched in six months, so they're a little more inflated-ish. But, you know, we have some 15K. These two are a little, we'll say an average of 15 to 20K. Um, we have ones that are a little higher as you go down. Um, but for the most part, let's say maybe 15, 20K average. So maybe about 10% of my audience. Now, this is doesn't matter. But f it mattered to me for some reason. It doesn't matter anymore, but it bothered me, you know. And it was a silly thing that bothered me. Um, but it did. So that was one small factor. Um, another factor is I wanted to kind of change up the way I was doing my channel. I've always wanted to do like a podcast type thing. And I think that I did it the wrong way here. It was at the time where I decided to stop streaming on Twitch because I felt Twitch kind of sucked and I wanted to experiment YouTube. So I decided I was going to go live on this channel, the old, you know, the old main channel and just post all the segments onto this other channel. That's when this was called Papa Got Leftovers. I don't know if people remember that. <laughs> Um, and that went okay for a while. You know, it didn't get the reception I thought it would. The idea was to go to the lives and then like kind of do the lives in a way where I would make a nice thumbnail. Uh, it would be like a long thing. So in six hours, I'd segment them up and then I would actually start. You notice how I'm, I, I'm uh, crediting actively. I've always had it on the screen of who would video I was watching, but I decided to put it in the descriptions and every description has that even on this channel. You can go to like anything. Well, um, here it's always there. It's in like the source. You, know, you are arguing. Um, that's how I do that. But, well, okay. <laughs> anyway, it didn't go quite as in, uh, planned. <laughs> I thought it would be a bigger hit, but it wasn't. But I think, uh, so that, you know, I kind of, I thought it would be like, oh, here's my podcast kind of video, and then here are the segments. But it turns out that I am just streaming, and I happen to add segments in there. It's not really a podcast, whatever. It doesn't matter. Experimentation lets you know, gives you the, an outcome. You know, this way you, you can operate differently with that information. But anyway, the biggest reason that I switched, I think, is because I hated it. And I, I hated posting content in the height of my content creation. I really hated my content, um, despite the fact that I was making a lot of good money. I didn't like my, my content. I didn't like the way I was doing it. I, f I felt a weird pressure. And it was to the point where my wife and I were having conversations about me quitting and going and getting like a real job because I was just miserable. And for me, having to get like an actual human job uh, isn't really that big of a deal to me. I have no problem with that. If this lasts a few years and then it goes away, that's life, you know, and I'm okay with that. Thankfully, even with the change and yeah, there's a little bit of reduction in money. It's still perfectly livable. <laughs> like I'm doing just fine. So, and I'm actually enjoying myself a lot more. Now you might be asking why? Why was I miserable? Um, well, it's hard to 
give one reason, but there's multiple factors. <clears throat> the first thing is, is that I made with the creation of the second channel, the main channel became about very controversial topics while the second channel became about like whatever we're talking about on stream that day and having whatever fun we're having. And just based on that, I started to really enjoy this second channel just because I was posting whatever I wanted. I didn't have to care. I was looking at silly, goofy, funny stuff, reacting to whatever I wanted to, having fun, posting it, not worrying about the views. And it made me like the channel as if it was its own entity. And it made me dislike this channel because I was only really talking about, about controversial topics and I was caring about the view count, you know? And that's something that I've been working on. I Obviously, you always care if you get views or not, but I haven't really been caring. You know, it's like, oh, that's cool. And if it doesn't do well, I go, okay. You know, seeing that 10 out of 10 doesn't upset me quite as much as it used to. And seeing that one out of 10 also doesn't make me feel as happy as it used to. But I'm like, that's cool. You know, I try to have a very disconnected uh, perspective on it. I try to look at my content like, hey, you know, here's here. This is work. And then when I'm off the computer, I'm off of the content. For the most part, I don't really look at a lot of stuff every once in a while. Maybe I'll check out the comments and stuff. But for the most part, I'm pretty disconnected. And it's been making me feel a lot better. My relationship with my content is better. Um, I have a better, you know, <laughs> the more grounded real life um, but that was something that was happening. And what happened is I was making controversial content on this main channel. And when something didn't hit, it made me more upset than if something didn't hit on the other channel because it was just fun, the other one. Um, I f and I felt like I was pigeon hell to talk about controversial stuff. And if there was nothing controversial to talk about, I would unintentionally almost sensationalize some stuff. Like, it's it's hard to explain. It was never intentional. But you just kind of go like, okay, I need to something controversial. And you just, you not act, you don't act correctly. Um, you're looking for it. It's very stressful to constantly talk about very controversial topics, especially since like a lot of them are, you know, sexual assault related, which is, you know, uh, probably shouldn't be a primary focus of anybody's content. It's a very difficult conversation to have. And it's interesting how that's become, well, like content. Uh, I do my best not to sensationalize stuff. And that's especially easy now. Um, but, you know, in general, I think a lot of people kind of miss the mark on that. And it, it's a very socially controversial. It's a very difficult conversation to have. And it just it just burns you the fuck out talking about stuff like that. Um, and so, yeah, I started making like a lot of mistakes I wasn't happy with. I was miserable. Um, I just didn't like it. I was not liking myself. And so I did sit down. I talked to my wife, you know, my new manager, I guess. <laughs> but I talked to her. And we had a pretty productive conversation about the way we were moving forward and about the level of stress that I was, uh, you know, accumulating offline. And we came to the conclusion. And what I did eventually is I just completely retired the channel because I decided to just start streaming everything on here. Obviously, you know, the li only live here is this experimental live that I did with my wife. It's called Robin Dan Time. And if you look on Google, uh, YouTube for Robin Dan, that's another channel my wife and I we have together, right? We go live together. It's fun. But my lives are, I set them to members only. It's only $2 a month. <laughs> and then I post the video segments and I enjoy it more. You know, I try not to worry too much about the views. Some of them do really well. I know for me personally, I have my like ex, my hopeful expectations set at like hoping to get about 10% of my audience to watch every video after about three days. Some of them you see don't hit, which is fine. I'm not upset about it. Some of them do pretty well, like these ones here. They're hitting that benchmark. I'm feeling good. Uh, um, and that's it. Nothing really super complicated. Um, for my history, for some reason, like when I was on TikTok, I also had an alternative channel that I really started po focusing on and posting on um, because I just... I don't know. It's something stressful. There's something uh, calming and relaxing about making an alternative channel. And that's kind of where we're at here. So that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm feeling better, feeling happier, feeling more honest about my perspective. Uh, I don't feel even slightly held. Like I, uh, you know, I'm, that's how I feel. I feel better. Of course, there's the upsetting part of like, oh, what do I do with this channel? You know, this was my baby. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a conversation content on there reaching out to some people and posting whenever there's nothing there's no schedule on there it's more of just a conversation thing um so i would say that if you are interested in that uh check out the link in the bio because here's the conversation i have with kelly cadigan and, 
and it was cool. It was a nice two hour long conversation and I enjoyed it a lot. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.